TBTL. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Hey Dummies. I'm Andrew, and I will be your dummy today. I um, I don't know why I always feel the need to apologize for this, but I'm joining you once again from my studio. I think it's good every now and then for me to record these things somewhere else, like in the car, or I was I tried to do it out in the garage last week. But I feel like every time I do that recently, I've had to scrap the video for some reason or another. Um, I took one walking down the street in Finney Ridge a few weeks ago, and it just came out bad. I had to throw it away. The one in the garage I basically scrapped last week. So I'm just staying in my safe little warm cocoon of my studio here to answer a question from listener Kelsey. Now, we could use more questions from you guys. You can email me, andrew at tbtl.net, put hey dummies in the subject line, and ask us anything. This is the question that Kelsey asks. Uh, if you had to get a personalized license plate, what would you choose? Now, one thing I like about the way Kelsey worded this is she says, if you had to get a personalized license plate, because Kelsey knows me, and I would not choose to get a personalized license plate. I have no... I, I have I, I have no desire to stand out even more on the roads. And if I did have to get a personalized license plate, I don't I don't think I'd be interested in using it to um, like what, like re reinforce a personal brand <laughs> in any way. In other words, uh, it, I don't think it would be like TBTL related or or hot dog related in any way, although hot dog, I guess, would be an option. But um, I was thinking about this very briefly. I, I, I'll admit I didn't do a, a I didn't do a full soul searching on this question, but I was thinking about it a little bit before I hit record. And what I what I ended up with was ouch. I don't know why I think that's so funny, but if I were behind a car and the license plate, if I was behind a, what do I have, like a six or seven year old Volkswagen Golf and the license plate just said, ouch, that would make me smile. And that's all I'd be trying to do with the, the personalized license plate. In fact, I know that perspective of being behind a car with a personalized license plate and chuckling at it because I have an ongoing text chain with uh, my friend Christina, you know, Kiki Lolo, Christina Lopez, who used to work on TBTL with us. And... Christina told me a long time ago, I don't think in confidence, um, that she always had a dream of like putting together some sort of a book or digital project around personalized license plates. Like that. And she lives in L.A., so you see all kinds of bonkers personal license plates uh, there. And I think she always wanted to like maybe kind of put together a, a, a collection of them, maybe along with like interviews with the people who chose those personalized license plates and why they chose them. So now anytime I am behind a car with a good personalized license license plate. How many times am I going to say that? Um, I will try to safely snap a picture of it. You know, if I get to a red light or something or a stop sign, you actually just red lights in all seriousness. I don't like to take photos while I'm trying to drive. But um, if I pull up behind a car at a red light and they have a good license plate, I will try to take a picture of it and share it with Christina. In fact, just this last Sunday, I was behind this big blue boat of a car. I'm going to say like an early to mid 80s you know, sedan of some sort, maybe an Oldsmobile. Actually, does it say here? I'm so bad with cars. Uh, oh, it looks like this might have been some old kind of Ford. And it, uh, it for some reason, this car, by the way, had a bunch of like little plushies or like kind of teddy bear kinds of things, but like old kind of like past their prime little teddy bears in the back window. And the license plate inexplicably was, I'm a hero. And I don't know what the story is there, but I would certainly like to know. I was thinking I would like to show you guys these photos. So what I'll do is I'll take a photo and send it to Kiki. And I was thinking I could maybe make a slideshow of these here for you. But, like, people are weird about license plates on the Internet. You ever notice that? Like, sometimes somebody will take a photo of, I don't know, maybe it's an accident scene or maybe a car doing something rude or whatever. And they'll blur out the license plate before they post it online. That's why it seemed odd to me. Is there any expectation of privacy around license plates? Like, we can all see them with our eyes. That's the whole point of a license plate is so you can identify the blue car with this license plate. You can't glean personal information from a license plate unless you have some sort of inside track to the D-O-T. T-O-V? <laughs> I can't restart this video. D-M-V. D-O-T or D-M-V. That's what I was trying to think of there. But anyway... I'm a hero. I'm, I'm not going to post these photos, but this was a heck of a photo. Big blue, big blue boat of a car with I'm a hero as a license plate. I also saw this one. This one was a little spicy. I was behind a Jeep. I think this was just yesterday. I was behind a um, 
kind of a cool yellow Jeep with like, you know, the, the, the pop, the top was popped or whatever. And the license plate was I poppy, <laughs> a little spicy there. Kind of, I think that's kind of a, kind of a, something you'd yell at a hunk, right? Kind of a hunky guy. Um, oh, this was one that I sent to Kiki. I was behind a Tesla and the uh, license plate was Watt Power, W A T T P W R, I think. Watt Power, a little play on words there. Um, this was one that I couldn't figure out. I'll just skip that one. What is this? A minivan Buzzkill? Ooh, that that should be mine. B U Z Z K L Buzzkill was another one. Oh, oh, this one. A California plate on a Hyundai says just sad just sad says this license plate that seems like ooh how about this one cthulhu k t h u l h u that is a really good use of a vanity license plate anything else here that i can share with you sorry scrolling scrolling <laughs> a cab on a california plate that says <laughs> Oink pig. Man, I really wish I could show you these. But also, that would be a lot of work for me to upload all of these. Um, Icemen. I guess like the uh, Iceman from um, Top Gun, but this one is Icemen. Um, one person had this. HRN. Get a pencil. HRN View. So H-R-N-V-I-E-W. I'm like, HRN view, what does that mean? Then I look a little bit closer and I see that they've taken a label maker and taped to the top of their license plate, Heron view. So I'm assuming that they live in a place called Heron view. They wanted a license plate that represented that, realized that nobody had any idea what the heck HRN stood for. So they modified their license plate to explain the joke. When you have to like print out your own label to explain the joke on your license plate. I'd say you've taken a wrong turn somewhere. Oh, here's one, Illinois. Easy E on a White Sox uh, plate. Uh, that's kind of interesting there. I wonder if it was actually Easy E, although, oh no, Easy E famously died a long, long time ago and also is famously from Compton. Um, okay, it looks like maybe I'm running out here. What is, oh, here's one here. We'll leave it on this. This must be a kidney donor because this person driving a Subaru Outback has the license plate, the number one kidney. It's one K-D-N-E-Y, one kidney. Really letting everybody know, hey, maybe it, <laughs> maybe that's the same person that's got the license plate that says I'm a hero. Hey, look at that. I wrapped it up. I wrapped it up perfectly. Oh, my gosh. I'm so proud of myself. All right, everybody. Thanks for putting up with me. Thanks for putting up with this edition of the Hey Dummies video series. Luke will be back, I think, next week to record one of these things. Um, but it's always nice chatting at you. So thanks for watching. Again, we could use more questions. Email me, Andrew, at tbtl.net. That's the address to use. And uh, just put Hey Dummies in the subject line. Thanks so much, everybody. You have a great weekend. We'll talk to you on Monday. Bye.